Why do isotopes matter? What evidence do scientists use to determine how many isotopes an element has and what its atomic weight is? Are atomic weights constants of nature? How do we know? The Isotopes Matter suite of resources provides answers to these and more questions about isotope science. The Isotopes Matter homepage provides links to the interactive IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes, along with other Isotopes Matter resources. Let's take a look at them. The six key ideas guide users through key questions and provide case studies that demonstrate the need for isotopes. They also guide users through what isotopes are and address common misconceptions. For example, this lesson on determining atomic weight describes the methods scientists used to determine atomic weight. It explains that sometimes the atomic weight of an element is not a single number with an uncertainty, but is given as an interval when the variation in isotopic distribution for that element is known. Interactive questions reinforce learning and challenge users to explore new areas of thinking. Sections like what do we know, how do we know, and why should we care provide the evidence for our knowledge about isotopes and real-world applications of their use. Interactive learning tools allow the user to explore mathematical relationships and the nature of experimental evidence. This atomic weight calculator learning tool allows users to see how changing the relative abundance of an element's isotopes determines the atomic weight of an element. They can even change the isotope ratio beyond its normal scope to see the importance of isotope ratios in calculations of standard atomic weights. For easy access, all learning tools are listed under the Applets tab in the menu. The interactive IUPAC periodic table of the elements and isotopes can also be accessed from this page. This mass spectrometry simulator shows how laboratory measurements are made to determine the number of isotopes and their relative abundance. Users can choose from a list of elements and molecules and can alter the isotope ratio of an element to see how that affects the mass spectrum. The isotope ratio mass spectrometry applet has four mini lessons to work through, each focusing on a different application of isotope science. For example, the case study on methane molecules on Mars discusses how scientists can determine the origin of methane molecules based on the ratios of isotopes in a sample. Because the mass of the molecules in methane depends on how the molecules were formed, the molar mass of a particular sample can indicate whether a given sample of methane had its origin in a meteor or a biological organism. Finally, another important applet is the UTSI learning tool, which uses the variation in atomic weights of some elements to track the life of UTSI, a 5,300-year-old mummy found in the Alps in Europe. Analysis of the isotopic composition of oxygen, lead, and strontium atoms in the mummy can be compared to the isotope ratios of materials in different regions on an interactive map. Users can use this data to determine where UTSI lived and compare their conclusions with the published scientific literature. Go to isotopesmatter.com to work with the Isotopes Matter resources and the interactive IUPAC periodic table of the elements, which provides comprehensive information on all stable and radioactive isotopes of the 118 elements in the periodic table.